Hi everyone, it's uh, Ryan from Clark Imagery here. We're going to do a review on the Rimlight 85, which is a flashlight speed box. The box is pretty well sealed. Once you get that open, you can see inside and we have the speed ring, which is packaged with some padding. On the back, you see where the uh, mounting brackets can go in and the clips that actually release it to, uh, to fold down. Here we have the actual mounting bracket itself and also a Bowens mounting bracket too, which comes free with this kit. The mounting bracket, you have a bottom bit which attaches to the light stand, uh, also can be used as a pistol grip. And then you loosen up these sides which are spring loaded and they just rotate and click into place. And you also have the cold shoe, which can be slid backwards and forwards. And on the very back, there is a place for batteries to go if you're using a speed light made by Rimlight. Okay, so in the main package, it comes everything together. We've got a bag, we've got the actual soft box and the diffusers. slide this open and what we got first here is a package with the two diffusers in it's got one internal and one which sticks to the outside there's the softbox itself it's got a little velcro strap which goes around it so when you uh, when you put it together and you want to compact it down again you can tie it up nice and neat it's pretty good quality and the bag itself Seems to be quite well made. It's got rim light branding on it. Uh, a strap there if you wanted to use it as a, as a shoulder bag. And some silicon gel. Okay, let's go ahead and put it together. So we've got the speed ring here. And we've got all the, uh, the fittings that actually the rods go into. Now what I like to do is actually line it up so the rim light goes parallel. It's actually sitting horizontal when you actually put it up to use it. Chances are I'll get it wrong though. The rods go in very smoothly. There's no resistance. They can slide in and out quite well, although they do seem to hold in. And on the inside of the rim light, there are little elasticated bands which actually go over the hooks where the rods go into. Once you've got all the rods in, go round and pull out on the rods and then they will click into place on the speed ring. And then on the inside you've got these little elasticated bands that I said, just hook them round where the rods go into, it saves them falling out. And the great thing about this is once it's set up, then it just compacts easy, put it in the bag, and you never have to keep on taking the rods in and out. Okay, and that's it. It's all hooked on, ready to go. Unfortunately, I didn't quite line it up correctly, so I've got a rim light branding on the top and one just offset on the bottom. Okay, time to fit the internal diffuser. Now again, once this is on, then you never have to take it off. And this is actually attached by poppers. 
So we go around, click everyone in place. And once they're in place, it looks like that. Okay, time just to uh, Velcro on the external diffuser. All done, set up, ready to go. Let's just uh, attach the mounting bracket for the uh, speed light. Twist a couple of screws there, line up the poles, slide it in, screw them back up, and you're good to go. So to collapse this softbox, I simply remove the uh, the mounting bracket there for the speed light, squeeze the two clips either side together quite hard, and if you push down on it as well, it gives it a little bit of kick. I like to uh, just push the diffuser back in as I fold it up, then use the Velcro strap just to go around and tie it up. It fits in the bag quite easily. Putting brackets in there first, and then the diffuser fits in perfectly. And there's plenty of space for anything else that you want to take. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.